Hi, thanks. This is Shenlai Li. I'm from Center for Translational Data Science at the University of Chicago. Today, my topic is on using CWL at scale in a genomic data commons. Some backgrounds. Um, so we are the team behind National Cancer Institute's Genomic Data Commons. Uh, we use CWL since 2016. We run CWL mostly with Slurm as our job scheduler and CWL tool as our main workflow engine. We have completed over 1 million CWL workflow jobs on both on-prem clusters and AWS combined. There are 69 workflows registered in our production environment, uh, including DNA-seq, RNA-seq, single-cell RNA-seq, and, and, and et cetera. And uh, we are still at version 1.0. I think we moved from draft to two or draft to three as we are an early user of CWL. Um, so why CWL? Uh, first, because it's open source and uh, it has an active and engaged user community. Um, we really appreciate it, uh, especially when we have some questions, it's pretty easy to find an answer to it. Also, uh, the nature of CWL itself, uh, its serialization and hierarchical structure really helped us to modulize some of our most common use piece that could be shared across workflows and projects. Um, CWL itself uh, is also uh, human and machine readable and writable. So it opens the potential that we could automate some of the CWL writing uh, in the future as well. Um, I think most importantly, uh, CWL is not tied to a particular engine. Uh, this is pretty important. I think, uh, because uh, to run the CWL on different environments, sometimes you probably want to use uh, different workflow engines. And if you have your own workflow engine, you probably want to use it as well. Uh, also in the future, uh, if you want to have uh, 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 some new features, uh, you can add it to, uh, to that uh, in your own workflow engine, and then you can still run your CWL workflows. Um, CWL is also uh, extendable. Uh, as I mentioned, if you have your own workflow engine, uh, you can just like uh, Seven Bridges, what they did is they add some hints uh, in the CWL so that the engine can recognize it and select the AWS uh, flavors. Um, so our current implementation for GDC is uh, we run CWL mostly with uh, Storm and CWL tool as our workflow engine. Um, each job runs in one node um, because all the inputs are in S3 object store. So each job will have uh, a download and upload part. Since 2018 in GDC, we introduced GDC pipeline automation system. It's called GPASS. Um, I'm sorry that I don't have enough time to cover the details about the GPASS, but it has automatic job generation, submission, and upload tracking. It helps us in day-to-day -day, uh, production uh, and is really, really useful uh, at our scale. So there are some limitations of this implementation. So first, the CDL tool that we use uh, runs all the steps serially. So for your information, uh, we were using an older version of uh, CDL tool. Uh, we understand uh, running non-dependent steps in parallel will give a significant speed up, um, however, uh, as we noticed that if such parallelization happened in node, uh, it will create some of the issues and troubles. Uh, for example, uh, each step is just calling a Docker container. And if we run um, parallel steps, it will just create multiple token containers. Uh, it's unstable at some level. And sometimes we will see uh, a Docker container running freezing for uh, days or even weeks without uh, popping arrows. Uh, and also sometimes we will see IO competition uh, in, in Node uh, and it will slow down the whole process uh, even though we thought it should uh, get it speed up. So we kind of like sacrifice the in Node parallelization in the trade of stable production at a large scale. And also our implementation cannot consistently leverage AWS the spot instances since the workflow execution time is big. Yeah, so because uh, right now our workflow is just a whole piece and the workflow engine doesn't understand uh, it very well and cannot break it up. So ideally uh, 
the workflow engine should uh, understand the steps in the workflows and based on the resource requirements, just dispatch smaller job to smaller instances and a bigger job, heavier job to the uh, bigger nodes. But this is not what we have now. Also, uh, right now we cannot uh, cache the outputs of sub steps again because uh, we were running an old version of CWL tool. But fortunately, uh, GPass was designed to be easily config with a different CWL engine. And we are always investigating other workflow engines uh, like CWL tool, Toil, Rabix. Uh, yeah, I think some of them are, or in the later version, are trying to resolve the pain points that I mentioned earlier. Uh, and of course, we tried Cromwell. Um, we had a project in our center that's not GDC, but we ran CWL with Cromwell at a, another infrastructure at a large scale. It went pretty uh, okay uh, until we had to freeze the Cromwell version um, as well because it, uh, the little version uh, stopped uh, supporting CWL. And we have our own prototype of, we have our own prototype uh, CWL engine, it's called Mariner. Uh, this one can run CWL in the Kubernetes environment. Also, uh, workflow engines, also there are workflow engines that could be extended to work with CWL that I uh, learned um, uh, some people in the community are trying to uh, in, 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 are trying to interface in CWL with the Argo or workflows. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a pretty, pretty cool idea. Also, we have some experience that we want to share. Uh, so testing isn't easy, especially for all the steps in the CWL, uh, but at least uh, we are trying to utilize CWL test uh, for JavaScript expression logics. Uh, and internally, we started to dockerizing, uh, we started to dockerize all the workflows uh, and uh, included the CWL tests in the CI process. Uh, so it would help us to dis distribute and uh, share our workflows later. Um, and uh, modularizing into sub workflows really helps code organization and updates. And yeah, and uh, some of the sub workflows can be uh, different entry points to separate implementation specific steps uh, from generic steps. Taking an example from GDC that we always have two entry points for one workflow. Uh, one is for GPass and the other one is for general users. Uh, so the one for the general users uh, will exclude all the GPASS uh, specific steps uh, and also exclude the download and upload part. So the external user uh, can use it directly on their environment with their data. Um, also in our center, we tried our best to describe a standard format uh, of our CWL. So uh, all the team members can understand others uh, code better. Uh, some of us are also using uh, LinkedIn tools, including me. Uh, for me, I'm uh, using VS Code. Uh, there's an extension called uh, Ben 10. I think it's from Revex 10 as well. That's pretty cool. And last but not the least, um, also always run validation be before running your workflow. It will save a lot of time. Um, I want, at last, I want to thank to my uh, colleagues. I, th I want to thank my colleagues who helped on the slides. And also I want to thank the CWL community uh, to give me the opportunity to present today. And thank you very much everyone for your attention. And uh, we are hiring, uh, this is our, the link. And uh, this is another link for GC Workflow Overview. Thank you very much.